to give them the best opportunity. And, and that isn't lost on me or any of us. That is so special. And that is almost it's unique. unique. Yeah. It's unique with Filipino. Yeah. Um, right. and, and I think that that sort of uh, ties in with what the super nudes do. We, we, we value that. We, we think that is special. And in turn, when we're on stage performing, you know, like we, we actually get children up on stage with us. We have we have a section in the show where we, we draw. We uh, Super Bell actually came up on stage with us, and Pencil Fire drew a picture of Super Bell. Didn't he? Do you have that hanging up on your wall at home? Yes. Yeah. 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 So I, I think it really is um, you know carrying on from the message of like everyone can be super. That's something that. Parents obviously want for their kids here as well. They want them to know that they are, that, that each one of them is super and that whatever they want to dream to be, whether that be an astronaut, um, a driver. Oh, there's the picture. Oh, awesome. Wow. That's so cool. So there's the picture. I'm such a good drawer, huh? <laughs> You're like the best drawer in the world, Pencil Fire. That's what I keep telling you, man. That's so cool, Bella. Thank That's you for so showing thank us. You, Bella. Yeah, let's get Bella. Super but yeah, I, I think I think that's that's the important message for us is that um, is to really get home that everyone and everything is super, and not only for the kids, but it, we get emotional um, seeing children relate to that and get that message as well. And we actually, uh, when creating the stage show, we had a former High Park member Tim Madron directed the show, and so we had. Um, Oh, it was a really special atmosphere in the room. We have like experts in the field, and one thing that we were really focused on was play and making sure that um, kids play. It's important, yeah, isn't it, guys? Yeah, exactly. yeah. and, and because because that's where the fun comes. And then once they're playing, then we can offer the educational side of that, which is in, through in home that they're all special. They're all and in the show we actually have a moment where we do list certain skills and tasks, whether that be brushing your hair, jumping really high, running really fast, being polite, and we say, you are all super because of that. So yeah, so I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you. I have one more question, I hope you don't mind. Uh, you mentioned that you're planning to shoot a show here in the country. How do we get in touch so our kids can be a part of it? Yeah, uh, well, just... <laughs> um, if you just keep in touch with Super Maya over there and Super Vibra, um, and, and just if you just follow me on um, my social media, so uh, my personal Facebook page and also the Super Dudes page, because um, I think you've got a little Super Dude there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, if, if you haven't already, absolutely come along to a show because even hearing your thoughts and ideas on uh, sort of the educational content and how important it is as a parent. Um, is special, and I'd love to hear your thoughts after actually seeing the show. What what you what you thought? Because I think that'd be special. I'll definitely write about that. Yeah, thank, thank you so much, and I hope you have more books come out. Thank okay. you, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, our next question is from Super Bimbo. Ah uh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Bimbo. Are you guys nervous? Are we no, nervous? No. No. No, no. So, having created a book about uh, superheroes, I just wanted to know. Growing up, who were your superheroes? Yeah, great Good question. Man. Go in bubble trouble. I was actually, for a long time, I was pretty into Transformers. I always wanted to be someone who could turn into something, and I think turning things into bubbles is like a realization of that. But I, um, yeah, I, I, I think I was like Superman. I used to like um, I had a whole bunch of superheroes. Wow, there was there was there was millions around, but I definitely liked cars and fun stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. cool. I just always wanted to be a fairy. <laughs> my whole life, even now, I just still want to be a fairy. Well, look so what happened. Having wings is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, yeah, that was just, and I loved, I just wanted to grow up to be a singer and a dancer. I just wanted to sing and dance forever. That's all my superheroes were people who did that. So, I'm still being an awesome superhero, exactly like I wanted to be when I was a kid, yeah. which is cool. Awesome. Well, alright, so I'm a comic book geek, so I have like a massive, was like Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, like X-Men, Avengers, all these sort of things, which is probably kind of what got me to drawing a little bit as well. Um, loved comics, not just for the creativity, but the imagination and all that sort of stuff, but also uh, for the artwork, I thought it was really beautiful, it was really cool, these really interesting characters with really cool, bright colours and... Um, we really wanted to, I guess, translate that into super dudes. You know, 